matchup. Sure, and can like, can zone break just because his range is fast, like his whip is good. But I think he gets put off stage and Nikita does the rest. That's true. The other thing is the fact that Snake can recover so high kind of nullifies the uh, the ledge trapping potential. So I'm really curious to see how Luffy is going to punish high recoveries. Because if he doesn't punish high recoveries from Bobo, I don't think there's any way he can win, honestly. He needs to find a way to, like, at the very least, consistently do damage. Oh, that was actually super big for him. I don't think he had a jump, but that grenade helped him out so much. Although, I guess help is kind of subjective here. Because that he's was still a lot of up smash. <laughs> <laughs> he just put out like six up smashes. Oh no, that, that DI was not there. I don't think that killed Raw at 120. Ooh. Okay, here's let's see what will happen. Oh, that is actually worth noting. I think the, the, the big saving grace for recovering high is that if you are the Lord and Savior with the the, the with the axe precision, you can kill uh Cypher with axe cleanly. Very clean. He died. Yeah, no, he definitely Nikita. died. All right. Well, okay, now he is trapped at the ledge, and Snake, all right, just jumps over all of it. I think that he misspaced the holy water just a little bit, meaning that uh, Bobo immediately recognizing him just ledge jump, jump past it. Things looking really rough for Bobo, uh, for Luffy right now, rather. Already taken 62% on his final stock in this game one. You know, this is best three to five considering you, you we're in finals. You see what I'm saying though? You, you see in that situation? So, as he recovers, Axe can very cleanly hit Nikita and not touch Snake, and then you're just in free fall and you die. But he's like continuously going so high. All right, there we see the axe actually landing though. Yeah. I feel like in that situation, Bobo could have air dodged. I feel like he just yeah. wasn't prepared for it considering the fact that the axe came out of the explosions. It's hard to see what's going on sometimes. Uh, but if he's prepared for it, I know that like air dodging the axe doesn't mean he's out of the woods, but um, no. Oh, he's looking for the up tilt there. Oh, I think he was hoping that he stickied him. Uh, now, one thing also worth noting is that when he's trying, when he's going through these high recoveries, landing, um, the B reverse grenades are huge because of how kind of you know of a narrow lane, um, Belmont's up up air goes. Like, whoa! Can't believe you dodged that one. All right, C4 gonna be taken. You know, that match actually started off horribly for Luffy, and I think there was some like click of this is how I need to pressure him. I think that yes, I agree. At the same time, I feel like Bobo slowed down the match because he realized how much wiggle room he had yeah. and by slowing down you know he started to make it back but like Bobo's game plan was I'm gonna keep trading with you gonna keep trading with you and um, he wasn't necessarily like it felt like at the beginning of that game he was going through breaking through you know kind of going for you know maybe a little bit over extension but they were paying off and by the end there yes that differential was going back but it felt like it was a calculated Bobo realized how much ground he could give until he was actually in danger you know I think what I'd like to see happen is I think as Dijon Mark, not Dijon Mark, sorry, as uh, Luffy sets up, like, this stage is a bit bigger, but I think as he sets up on one side, I'd like to see him, like, push in and side switch. Just like, that's, that's what I was looking for. It's it's the idea of. Oh. When did he take 92? Good question. Huh? When did he take 111, bro? All right. Yeah, now we're actually seeing the. Oh! He definitely had time to shield that. I think if he shields it, S smash is a real scary actual like thing that can happen there. Like Luffy was close enough. Wow, I, I can't believe all of this damage that has been dished out onto Bobo. And he's now struggling to land. He finally manages to get back to neutral. Dash attack's not enough to do it. Let's see if he can get even a little bit of percent on him. Bobo throws a kill throw. Yep. Yeah, that was also really good for that grab because. Like, Bobo, Bobo's been jumping out of disadvantage a lot, and he couldn't jump there because of what the cross positioning was. Yeah, I was thinking about how dominant that last game was for Bobo, but clearly, yeah, something seems to have clicked for Luffy. He's figuring out how to be putting uh, Bobo at the ledge, how to be getting his damage so consistently, and just like that, he's lapped him in percent. He is looking absolutely fantastic right now. I also think having this much horizontal room uh, also works better for him, and also Town and City, small side blast zones, he's gonna kill a lot earlier. Like, 
I would venture to, to guess that most of uh, Luffy's kills are going to be, like, off the side. And Town and City lend, lends a lot to that. Yeah. Oh, man, this is kind of the opposite of what we saw last time. This time, three stocks to Luffy's, uh, for Luffy, only, Bobo only having one. And we saw that, you know, Luffy started to make a comeback happen. Will Bobo be able to even show oh, that he, he went can for do it? that? I, I, could, yeah, no, we, you deserve it. You've, you've earned at least trying to go for it. That's going to be the yeah. stock, though, yeah. I don't know about going for it again, because he's also at 78, so even if you hit, wh wh what's the damage? Like, like the risk-reward uh, wasn't there. I think he was actually trying to go for a combo break, like, to stuff him out. Um, which, and at that point, yes, you have a lot of wiggle room. As I say that, oh, no. No, you say that, but oh Nikita does the work. Nikita is the workhorse here. This is this is the second time this has happened. Like it, there was a absolutely dominant uh, lead for one of these players, and then just with careful, precise, devastating plates getting evened up. Yeah, Bobo is doing a much better job of avoiding those axes. Yeah, but he's he's done with hanging out of the ledge there. Actually goes high in order to recover. C4 is right... Uh, he's not dead from that, but C4 yeah, is on the middle of the stage there. Okay, he blew it up trying to hope him to, to catch him unawares. Dropped another C4. It's under him. That's all. Oh. Okay, okay. So this matchup, there was a very specific grenade that Bobo was throwing as he's coming down that was preventing the Holy Water from landing on ledge. I don't know if you saw it, but what, it, what was happening was the Holy Water was now breaking on the grenade above ledge and slowly working its way down, so Bobo has a lot more freedom to, to come off of ledge. But, However, in order to do that, he needs to be kind of recovering high to begin with in order to be able to throw the grenade into that no, position, I, right? I think it's just him getting hit, like all the horizontal hits. He's going upward, up, like up and left or up and right. And on his way down, he's throwing that grenade to at least cover yeah, yeah. the first Holy Water. All right. Now, you know, I feel like game one was a statement. Game two was a statement right back. So now in game three, I think this is going to be a big pace tone setter. Will Bobo be able to recreate that game one success, or will the trend end up going into Luffy's favor? For the moment, actually, it looks like Bobo has figured out what he needs to be doing and changed up uh, you know, what was messing him up last time. Uh, I, I swear, PS2 does not, like, the PS2 layout does not lend itself to, like, Luffy's game plan. I think this is Bobo's counter pick. So. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I wonder what the bands were from Luffy. Um, maybe triplats. Maybe, but I don't even think banning triplats is like small battlefield probably because small battlefield is a similar layout. It's hard to say. Um, I think you know at the very least, uh, Luffy probably has a lot of experience on this stage, just because uh, everybody goes here. Yeah. Well, that should be it, yeah. Yeah. Again, I don't like. Uh, oh, what? an F smash hit before the grenade landed. What the hell? Oh, man, that was such a crucial pickup from Luffy. Now, Bobo, what looked like was going to be a, uh, a runaway game, it's neck and neck. Both of these guys sitting at exactly 37%. I can't believe Bobo exactly. went to that dash. <laughs> I like I like the holy water cover on the platform because snakes will like to be reversed and land on the platform. Oh, oh he's the roll in. That was so good. Not only that, but that forward smash was like one of I mean I wonder if that's a bit of conditioning because he had been uh he'd been making the roll very safe by constantly up smashing their leg. Yeah. No, I definitely think that was sort of a that was like implanted, incepted into him at the beginning <laughs> of this set. C4 is uh, quick to PSA. It is there on the white of the Pokeball. <gasps> Beautiful air dodge. Should be able to make it to the ledge, but without another air dodge in order. No, yeah. C4 was still on the platform, so he couldn't use the recover. He would have died. died anyway, yeah. He was at very high percent. So. Yeah, but it's the fact that he had to air dodge the axe first meant that he couldn't get the extra height from the end of the uh, yeah. Cypher. Yeah. I like the little dash back into another F tilt. Yeah. 
amount of projectiles are too damn high. <laughs> Take this! <laughs> hey, uh, hey, buddy, um, could you take oh this? Oh my god! Oh. The he grenade actually made the holy water go up and catch Bobo in it. That would have been an insane punish if you got it. You see, you see the grenade I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing exactly what you're saying. It's been so important for Bobo here, but even now he's still trapped at the corner. Might be preventing the holy water, but it's not actually getting him home safe. Oh, but uh, even then he manages to get back down to the ground. Taken away from him in another instant. That was good movement oh. when he rolled into the C4. Oh, oh that Nikita was so dangerous. Oh, he's sticking stop. him. Sticky? He's sticking him. Oh, he pulled the trigger a little bit too quickly. He oh, he's sticking him again. He's low shield no, too. He was also fucked. He had to air dodge that because the, the low shield would have been a shield break if he landed yeah. and shielded. Like, if he had shielded, and even if it didn't break it, he could have dash attacked in and probably yeah. popped it at the end there. So that was amazing from Bobo. The ability to survive and then also kind of scouting out his win condition. I feel nope. like that was another one of those sort of conditioning from the beginning of the set. He was shielding on those platforms, forgetting the fact that Snake effectively has a command grab. Because <laughs> he just goes up right in there and he's like... That, that's the Bowser jump side view and you on the platform? Except it kills even early. <laughs> I've definitely seen uh, like somebody get like on the platform, they get C forward, and you get you land under him. They don't do anything for a second. You up tilt, and then C four is now very very scary because you up tilted their shield. Two, one, go. Yeah. All right, all right. Here we are, game four. Interesting. This was actually Luffy's counter pick. Yeah, he I brought don't agree with this at all. I wonder what the bans were. I feel like Town and City definitely got banned for sure. Yeah, yeah. That show just. Oh no! What happened? I'm actually not sure what happened. I think that was maybe a buffer issue. He like fast fell and neutral air dodged. Ah, uh, he. W so that that's optimal punish off holy water at low percent. It's the falling up air into up smash. Yeah, we have Luffy out here making optimal play, whereas Bobo's just throwing himself right to death. Oh no. Yeah, whatever. All right, let's get to game three. Let's get game five or whatever the heck it is. Yeah, I, I like if you're Bobo, like this, this something went wrong. Oh, I, you know the funny thing, I wouldn't even want to, like, don't go for cool plays because you might, you know what I mean? Like, like if you go for your tricky stuff that you've been holding on to, then you won't be able to use that for game five. That's true, but sometimes Snake is just not out of it, you know. To a certain degree, but <laughs> even now, I yeah. listen. He's still at 107. I, I understand. I understand, but maybe against another a character that is like, uh, I don't know. The character's still so prone to dying early. That's sort of low percent. Oh. Belmont's more more in danger than high percent. Yeah, well, Bobo's in danger absolutely right now. Getting hit by his own grenades too. He's at 142 percent. Any area. Oh, oh, oh my yeah. God, he lives. All right, never mind. Bobo's gonna win this game. This game. <laughs> He's not. C4. Ah, oh, ah, oh, it's gone. I thought it was still on the platform above. Yeah, super high recovery, but that forward throw is still not enough, actually. Bobo with no options to make it back down to the ground. Beautiful stuff right there. You saw the fact we threw out the Holy Cross, and the Holy Cross was exactly where Bobo was landing. Ends up leading into the back air, uh, bringing us to game five. Ah, oh. uh, that had to be frustrating. It was like two two mistakes that cost you your stocks early. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's not really much that could be said or deconstructed. Did they go BS2 again? They did go BS2? We'll see, we'll see. I did see Bobo kind of take a long, deep, eyes closed breath. So let's see if he's actually able to shake off what happened to him in that last game. Uh, I would almost, I would honestly call that game anomalous. That's normally not what we see from Bobo. But, you know, that sort of thing that can shake you up regardless. Already Bobo at 61%. You know, earlier they were going blow for blow and it was still super duper last hit. And this time around, Bobo taking all of this damage. Ooh, good shield. Yeah, good awareness that the C4 was there. Oh. 
see for us right there on the white of the Pokeball. <gasps> that was so good. <gasps> when Belmont actually recatches his Holy Water, it becomes so terrifying. Like, think about it. That's basically Diddy Kong Banana on steroids. Uh -huh. Axe going to come out, probably. No. I'm surprised he went for f -tilt. I think it's just a take what, take what I get in the scenario, but that that's a situation. I like the the holy water on platform because snakes love to be reversed onto the platform last minute. Yep, and finally the up air. He did the opposite that time. He be reversed off of the platform into the cross and got up aired for it. Yeah, now if you're Bobo, it does feel like he had that that last game is affecting him even still. You, you see what he did there? It was the same thing, the the same conditioning. It's you up smash at ledge to 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 bait a roll in, and then you get a punish there. Oh, what was the mix there? That was such a good setup. I just, he didn't get the, the follow up. Oh man, things going kind of crazy right now. Luffy putting on all of this pressure, all this damage, and Bobo needs to make an immediate response. Otherwise, this is going to get even further out of his grasp. He just got lapped in percent, and he's still trapped at the ledge. Dash attack, it's, I mean, it's good damage, but it's not really a game changer, especially when Oh. Luffy's getting off the ledge so easily. I thought he was going to up be there for sure. I think he didn't want to overextend right there. Yeah. Considering how valuable this lead is right now, there's no reason to go, you know, to uh, a place that you don't need to. That grenade actually saving him. Because he would have landed on the C4 out of free fall and died for it. Yeah, managing to avoid the Nikita, but the C4 on the ledge does it. If you're Bobo, things are not unreasonable for you. You're at 110%. It's definitely scary. There are options you have to worry about getting up air near the top, getting back air near the ledge. It feels like most of his way he dies right now is stage positioning dependent, though. So if you're able to play around that, I mean, we well, got him back to neutral first, and at 158%, we're starting to look at the point where almost everything Belmont has is going to be killing. Except for those sour spots. It's like the, the, the Marth curse. Can't kill it from if I'm touching you. Even even if you're far away, that back air, not enough to do it. I think it was stale just a little bit too much. Even Marth. that forward air? How is he surviving these? Snake is a big boy. Wow. But now, even though Bobo is surviving... Yeah, he's lived this whole time, but he hasn't put on a single percent on him. It's been 4% the whole time. That was really nice. Oh, no. <gasps> Oh man, if that SD had happened, that would have been like the exact thing that Bobo needed. But surviving means that, oh, this is getting even rougher for him. He, he brought his hopes up just to dash them entirely. Uh, that's that's it. Take, yeah, that's yeah, gotta he be air do dodged in. And we actually have Luffy. First time making top eight. He's in grand finals right now, grand winner's finals. side. Incredible.